morning pilgrims. <laughs> so, <laughs> boy, tough night last night. Lots of noise, noise until about 3 a.m. People just make it. Noise. So here's breakfast. This is a tortilla. This one has has ham. Um, Cafe con leche and a chocolate croissant. Wow. And there's Nigel's and the big orange juice. <laughs> Leaving the Pension au Bell. <laughs> so the place was all right. It's above a bar. So they were partying, and I mean partying, until till like two o'clock, <clears throat> and then they, and then uh, about an hour later, people came back from partying elsewhere and are banging around 3 a.m. Then it's just hotter than stuff, and I was just laying there with no covers on, and just going, "Oh man, I'm <laughs> so so hot." So you're just waiting for the dawn to come so you can get up and go. <laughs> but the breakfast was amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. <coughs> I could eat that every day. So today's uh, journey will take us to the town of Quinta La Reina, uh, the, the uh, Bridge of the Queen. Uh, we're gonna walk through Pam, Pamplona first. This is not Pamplona. This is like the bedroom community of Pamplona. Um, and uh, it's a nice, nice day. Some some clouds. I haven't looked at the weather yet. I think it's going to rain tonight. It yeah. It it in Spain and France you just take the weather as it comes. Uh, so oddly enough, we haven't seen the mass migration of pilgrims. <laughs> so I'll I'll let you look at that. See, where are all the people? <laughs> Show me the pilgrims. Where where all where, are the, the where have all the pilgrims gone? gone? Massive buildings. Again, this is the town of Villava. Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells good. All the trees are blooming over, over there, and you can smell them. Um, this way, I think. Go right. All right. Wow, that's an amazing building. Interesting. I'm next door as well. Yeah. Big old bridge. Beautiful. New bridge over there. So I think now we're in the town of Pamplona, that the river was the boundary of it. Beautiful trees, old. So very famous wall. Beautiful. Fortified city. So, so at one time there was probably a moat here, like at the other city I just showed you. Dude. <laughs> yeah. You got a place to sleep. Drawbridge. And there was probably a big moat there. Previously, as we've seen, they fill them in. So the girl on the left is from Germany. She just got here. She's on day four, I think. It's Sunday morning, so there's not going to be a lot of people around. The last night was Saturday night. Parte, what comes before part B? Parte. On time, there's the garbage dude. <laughs> Holy cow, people were just having some fun, weren't they?
smells like beer. Some more pilgrims. It's hotter out there. They're serious about the uh, street cleaning here, man. Holy cow. Real business. Oh, there's the hogs. We got hogs. <laughs> so instead of uh, all this money spent on trying to clean the streets, why not just put uh, trash cans? <laughs> I don't know. Very impressive. Look here in the uh, pavement there are all these holes those are for posts so that the bulls run straight 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 down this street there's the church or eight one of the probably many churches there's too many things to take pictures of and we didn't see any pilgrims all the way to here and then there's like 30 40 40 50. Everywhere is a big, big, fancy old building. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lead, lead lights. Man, it's beautiful. It's so big. So this is the old uh, fortified part of the city. That's what you see when you're looking at those walls. Bicycling is very big here. The Sunday morning jogging club. That's all part of like the old fortified walls that are left. chain. Holy cow. Lots of shade trees. There's some more of the fortified well. It doesn't look that high because they brought the dirt up, you know, over the years to uh, be more even. Uh, so the young guy on the right is from Australia. We met him when we were going over the top of the pass, what, two days ago now. So we're going up to that to, to the top of that hill and you've probably seen that on many videos that's where all the carvings yeah so so we'll just follow these guys we, we don't need to look look for signs uh, Nigel found some peas there's a big pea field no poppy peas some more poppies you can eat raw peas mm, so sweet they really go out of their way to make a wide swath for pilgrims. So I think the place where you've seen all the cut out metal statues, that's right up there. The, um, it translates into height of forgiveness or parting. Wow, look at the pilgrims going up. I'll tell you one thing that has changed between here and France. A place to pee on the trail. And a lot of people watching. And for some reason, the uh, public water closets have uh, disappeared. So it's a strange combination. You get good at just holding it. We're back to a paved trail. Going up. It's very, very gradual. So back there, the beautiful city of Pamplona. It's a big town. It's for personal consumption. 
pretty little waterfall. Wow, <laughs> look at all the pilgrims. Poppies, that's what they need. Poppies to make them sleep. These are sweet peas, in case you're wondering. And poppies. I'll get you my pretty. Wind's starting to pick up a bit. All right, there's one climb done. The church. Yeah, we could. What does it cost for a coffee? Because uh, we got the room at the top, on the other side. All right. So there's the town we were just in. We're making our way up. There's the windmills. Yeah. So up there are those statues that you that you've probably seen in other pictures. So we caught up with Paul. Paul likes to leave a, a bit earlier than us uh, to get a jump on the day, I guess. translates to where the wind uh, meets that of the stars. Oh. <laughs> kind of a stone hinge thing there. Now all the way down, all the way down there, yep. First trolley I've seen on the trail. Boy, it's a long, long way down. A very rocky, rough trail, too. Coming into the town of Uturga. Oh, there's a guy hang gliding way out there. Oh, see all about the pack tennis. So we're going to stop here at this. I'll Burge slash bar, get something to eat and uh, some coffee. So like 20 guys on bikes pulled in. Man, we got here just in time. So leaving the uh, burger barn place there, had a beer, burger was good. You know? A beer. And we had two. No, which was equivalent to three. Maybe, maybe four. <laughs> <laughs> I was very thirsty. Yeah. yeah. So we've only got about 6K to the albergue, so it's, you know, we're just kind of, it's a slow day. So we go down to that road down there, you can see pilgrims <laughs> all the way up. Oh, look at that. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Coming through a small town, I don't know the name of this one. We'll be gone in a second. Let me be getting with M. 
Something beginning with M. There you go, mate. Uh, Merizabal. Bar. Los no Nogales. <laughs> Tired he's had, hiker. He's had, he's had too many beers, I think. <laughs> Many beers, I think. <laughs> Too many beer. No more beer for him. <laughs> this is not a pub crawl. A Yet. four a four hundred yeah. mile pub Yet. crawl. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> it may get that way. <laughs> Going under the freeway. Much cleaner than usual. That's a heck of a church. We think that's a lady who's collecting metal. <laughs> Nothing there. Real. Well, that's an impressive church. Boy, that's pretty impressive. Fits perfectly. <laughs> Not. Not. <laughs> Camino. Albanos. So we're at the, the albergue. The albergue Juku. <laughs> Super nice. <laughs> we must have messed up. So this is <laughs> this is how it is. It's four beds in a, basically the size of my master closet at home. There's two outlets. We don't know who these people are. Oddly, there's no roof. It's kind of just a drape. So you'll hear everybody snoring. <sighs> okay, what else? What else can now you do? And I lost my pillow. I left it at the last. Uh, Alberghi, great. 